continue a little bit more. I can't do anything without going forward in the story. And I was told not to go forward in the story without streaming it, so. Okay, where am I going? Branya said she's willing to wait 700 years for us. Huh. Don Hung, how long can humans live for? Hmm. Forever. But in that scenario, they can't be considered human anymore. Yikes, so serious. I was just curious. All right, what do we got? Here we are, Everwinter Monument. Photo time. Oh, Kayla and Hook are here too. Let's make sure we get them in the background. <laughs> cheese. Wait, cheese. Okay, where to next? Oh, we haven't seen Sir Vol since we got back. Let's head to the workshop. Why do I go farther in the story? I want to, but I, I, is there didn't your parents tell you to knock before? <laughs> it's you three. Oh, come on in. I was just talking to Clara about you. How have you been, Big Brother? Miss Serval's workshop is amazing. There are all kinds of things. I like it here a lot. Miss Serval? Clara is such a well-mannered kid. Meanwhile, the architect's children are still calling me auntie and making me feel old. Photo. <laughs> this feels like one of my fan meetups. <laughs> anyway, for you guys, I do autographs for free. Oh. Oh, I remember. When I was little, Mr. Sparrow took a photo for me. Over here, Clara. Want to learn some cool poses? You better smile. Hello? Wow, that's pretty great. I wish the photographers at my shows had your skills. Huh? Am I really that short? I thought... Don't worry. If you eat like Don Hung, you'll be as tall as him one day. <laughs> uh, I'll... Let that slip. Here, keep it. A little farewell gift from the Astral Express. Huh? You're leaving so soon? I understand. Well, this photo will always be close to my heart. I'll make a copy for you too, Clara. Th thanks, Mr. Vol. Big Brother, March, Dan Hong. Thanks for taking care of me. Safe travels. If you have time, please come back and visit me and Mr. Svarog. Yeah, where's the little idiot at anyway? That's enough sightseeing and photo taking to last me a while. Time to head back to the Goethe Hotel for a good night's sleep. <sighs> we can sleep when we're back on the express. Not so fast. Last time we were here, that evil Madam Guardian interrupted us before we'd gotten the most out of our luxury suites. Don't you think we should make up for it? Come on. Himeko and Mr. Yang are grown ups. I'm sure they'll cope without us for one night. Besides, don't you want to chit-chat with the locals now that Bellabog is full of life again? I know I do. Mm-hmm. Why are we still here? Why don't we get the fuck off this planet and leave these people alone while they rebuild society? Please. You know what's so funny about, about Star Rail, right? Okay. And I keep saying this, but I think I really mean it this time. There's absolutely no other character that I'm going to want. So every every Jade, every Stellar Jade is just going to be saved for Robin. I've already got March 7th filled out. So we're good. Also, I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. I have two of these. Day one of my new life. Is this, is this good? Especially compared to... Uh, this one that gives me like a burn damage over time because I don't have really any debuffs on this team for for uh, for Dr. Ratio and like I'm really really low on them and so like 
should I be running that instead? Because if I really want to run March, March 7th, I probably should run something that's going to help my main DPS like that. Like, is that is that fine? Because there's also a synergy that this has. Um, uh, day, one of, day one of my new life. It gives type all effect res, right? Does that stack with... Yeah. It it this it stacks with this, right? Effect res. So this would make uh this would make perfect timing better too, right? Am I wrong? Oops, sorry. Hold on, let me see. What where is it at? Effect res is for debuffs. All type res is for damage reduction. Oh oops, never mind. Okay. The engine of creation, Kukoli, and ethereal space, gaze preservation. Your fragmented memory, but oh, hello. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. Was that what's her name? Oh, it was a close thing, all right. Good thing it dawned on me. Hey, Sampo doesn't have to be a protagonist, right? <laughs> the likes of us are better suited to, uh, shadowy comic relief, huh? Turns out the Astral Express crew is more fun than I expected. <laughs> you, you liked it? Really? <laughs> Told you so. No, no! I'm in no hurry to leave. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, Epsilon? <sighs> what fun can you get out of a giant vanity fair like that? <laughs> True happiness always entails the manifestation of the dignity of mankind. Now that's a quote I live by. Well, bye for now. Send my regards to the guys and girls in the tavern. Oh, and don't forget to say that Sempo Kuski will catch them for the next one. Time to make my curtain call. To you, my dear audience, I dedicate my performance. I wonder, did I bring a little more joy into your lives? You don't have to answer that. But if the answer is no, then you'll break my heart. Who is he talking to? He's talking to me. We should be getting back to the express. Time to find March and Don Hong. Morning. How did you sleep? I'm full of energy myself. Well, copycatitis still has no cure, I see. Did you get Himiko's message? It's time to go. Uh, the conductor will nag us again if we put the express behind schedule. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, pack your souvenirs and stuff. Back home we go. All right, I'm over this place. Goodbye. This place was nice. This was nice. Is it my monster? I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see. What the fuck? What's over there? What? 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 What do you want? Oops. Come around and have a look. I wonder if this place actually changes its visuals. This was nice. I like this. This is cool. Yeah, I like the beat. I like the beat. Here we are at last. <sighs> it's sad to say goodbye. Hmm. 
Nothing lasts forever. Oop. <laughs> You'll stop feeling sad the moment you set foot on the express. Hey, I'm not that heartless, you know. Priorities. What do you mean? Are you saying rebuilding the underworld isn't one of your priorities? <laughs> of course not. I I'm just saying we have limited assets and we need new parameters. Assets, parameters. You sure love your fancy words. Come on, Joe, please. <sighs> Forget it. Leave it to me. I'll go down myself. <sighs> Come on, Stila. I won't leave you to- Look, Ranya! <sighs> There'll be plenty of difficulties waiting for them, right? Yes. Their future is filled with even more uncertainty than ours. But we will prevail here, even if it means arguments like this go on forever. <laughs> they won't go on forever if I win them. Wow. Way to, way to bring it home. Welcome home, you three. They've kissed. Hello, Mr. Yang, mm. Team Trailblaze back from duty. Mission one accomplished. She could do better if you ask me. What? Although Welt and I didn't get the chance to go with you, I can tell you worked hard to bring things back to normal. Well done, everybody. And especially you. I heard a lot of good things about you. And miss out on a great adventure? I don't think you'd like that. Get some rest on the express. Urelo 6 was not an easy ride. Pom Pom is of the opinion that we should leave as soon as possible to avoid potential resurgences of the anomalies we experienced earlier. Himiko and I agree. Which means we need to decide where our next destination is soon. That's right. That's the path of the nameless, I presume. Always on the road, always trailblazing. I'm not complaining, by the way. One adventure after another? That's exactly what I signed up for. <laughs> Looks like March has fallen in love with the way of the nameless. That's good to hear. You can head back to your rooms for some rest. Or stay here and make yourselves a cup of coffee. Whichever you like. I'll head back to my room then. <sighs> there I was thinking this guy would gradually open up. We need to give him some time, March. I think he treasures the time spent with you guys. About your battle against the Supreme Guardian and the whole Stellaron situation. You must have a lot of unanswered questions, I suppose. Mm -hmm. While you were away, Weld and I did some research and came to some interesting conclusions. Let me know if you want to ask about anything. Ah, home sweet home. Mr. Yang and Himeko must be bored given how long our train had to stay here. Where's our next stop? I can't wait. Shh. Checking Star Rail stability. Pom Pom needs to focus. But how's my Trailblaze level? Aw, oh, thanks. 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 Oh, Oh, nice. Have you been logging every day? Shh. Yes. Is there literally nobody else you want at all? No. <laughs> Not at all. Oh, wait.
The express crew tread upon the trailblaze. We travel between worlds, like a thread weaved into the life stories of others. The universe is vast beyond our imagination. It's a miracle that our paths converge. The fact that we get to know and travel with each other can only be seen as the design of destiny. Thank you for becoming our companion. I'll do my best to answer any questions you may have. Yeah, what happened with Kokolia? Sure. Oftentimes, those who are involved in historic events don't have the opportunity to see things from a wider perspective. I hope as an onlooker, I may provide some help. Krapoth the Preservation is known for their... indifference. Unless you become a zealot like those with the corporation, it's hard to share in the Eon's power. Determined to preserve the world they loved, the architects held on for hundreds of years. But as the fragmentum continued to advance, their already wavering faith started to show some cracks. And one particular guardian, Kokolia, abandoned the path of preservation altogether. In contrast, you stood your ground and proved your faith in the Amber Lord. Judging by how the battle turned out, Krapoth responded to your wish. Their wow. gaze infused you with the power to wield the weapon of a supreme guardian and to take control of the Colossus. Is a Stellaron. There's no doubt about that. What I've gathered so far suggests it's likely that the supreme guardian was corrupted by the Stellaron at a very young age. All the tragedies that came after can be traced to that point. On the flip side, we can't judge Kokolia too harshly. Imagine if it were you or me who had to sit on the throne and watch the city slowly being brought to its knees. Would we not question what we believed in? <laughs> Don't mention it. Welt and I may have stayed on the Express this whole time, but we've been watching over you from the moment you set foot on Urelo 6. Friends look after each other. The same goes for us Nameless. Please remember, no matter where you are in the universe, the Express will always be behind you. How sweet. Sure, ask away. Sweet. It's virtually impossible to destroy a Stellaron. No one, not even Herda, has found a way to break its structure. The best we can do at this stage is to prevent its energy from overflowing. When the Supreme Guardian was defeated, the Stellaron that had been transmitting energy to her exposed its weakness to us for a brief period of time, allowing Welt and I to contain its power. That's about all we can do about a Stellaron. It may be suppressed for now, but it's only a matter of time before it regains power. But this brief window should allow the people on this planet to heal and rebuild. Welt may be better equipped to answer that, but if you want my two cents, I'd say it's unlikely. I guess it's possible, but it would take a long time. I can tell from your report that the new Supreme Guardian of Bellabog is a smart young lady with leadership qualities. What's more important is that she now understands her people after the journey with you. The firm and honest support she gets from people around her will also prove immensely useful. But fate likes to play tricks on people. Even if during their lifetime they manage to make Urelo 6 prosper again to a certain degree, they will remain vulnerable and helpless to countless threats lurking in the recesses of the universe. We can only give them our best wishes from afar. Hmm. You're most welcome. Have some rest. You've earned it. So, your first trailblazing expedition has concluded. Be it joy or pain, success or regret, it's all part of the journey. Those feelings will accompany you as long as you tread on the trailblaze, and one day you'll grow used to them. It seems you have something on your mind. Let's hear it. I'd like to hear a fresh perspective myself. Uh, <laughs> as talkative as Himiko is, we've pretty much run out of topics. Hmm... I'm afraid not. Wait, what? As I've mentioned before, the Stellaron's influence on Urelo 6 is more profound than we might think. I don't think Bella Bog's fight against the lingering effects of the Stellaron will end anytime soon. But the balance of power is tilting ever so slightly towards humanity, the crucial factor being the hope you brought about. As intangible as it may sound, don't underestimate hope. 
because the power it inspires has no limit. Like the Stellaron, it's a seed that, that may grow into something much bigger. But in my opinion, the fruit that hope bears will have a much bigger impact than that of the Stellaron. This is so detached. It's like you're watching lab, ri lab rats. They're like scientists watching lab rats. It's, it's, it's weird. It's weird. I don't know. Like, not weird. It's just, it's, it's, hmm. It's like, don't get too emotionally invested. Like, you know, like, you know, you let them. It's almost like we're golf complexing a little bit, but not a little bit. It, it, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's like, it's weird. We're, we're just, we're kind of like aliens. Like altruistic aliens a little bit, but not really. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> Is that so? Well, I think you did the right thing. It's better to move forward with the burden of knowledge than to tread a perilous road with blind optimism. I remember a distant world where the people were faced with unimaginable danger every single day. But they saved their planet time after time with wisdom and courage. This goes to show how much of a difference ordinary people can make. I hope your Relo 6 sees that too. <laughs> I too wish to go with you, but Himako insisted on letting you and your friends rise to the challenge. I'd been observing what's happening on the ground from the Express, and I have to admit that I got sweaty palms a couple times. I was glad to see you three meet friends you could trust and overcome hardships. Well done. Himiko was calm from the very beginning. She kept telling me to trust you youngsters' decisions. <laughs> and she was right. I really need to stop worrying so much. Likewise, get some sleep. We'll be heading off again soon. Hi, Pom Pom. Checking star rail stability. Good to see you too. Spatial readout. Back to the normal bracket. Star rail stability keeps rising. 56%, 57%. The numbers have stabilized. Dispatch the express. Oh, welcome back to the express. You've accomplished your trailblaze mission. The express appreciates your help. The destination will be announced at the navigation meeting. For now, get some rest and stay tuned. Thanks to you, the Space Fisher is healing up and the Star Rail has become stable enough for us to dispatch the Express. As for the coaches, Pom Poms checked every nook and cranny and made sure everything's in good order. Ugh, don't worry about it. Your Rillo 6 probably doesn't have anything worth buying anyway. Plus, it's your first time on a Trailblaze mission, so Pom Pom will let it slide this time. But don't forget, next time, right away, to avoid encountering the anomalies again, the Express will dispatch shortly and head to a more stable area. For your safety, please don't leave your seat until the Express has reached cruising speed. I like Pom Pom. Ronnie has become a visitor to the Express. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, okay. I didn't know the president and vice president were here. <laughs> Was that music? Hello? Hello? It's about time we hit the road, passengers. Thanks to the three trailblazers, the activity of the fragmentum has reached the lowest level. And the readings regarding the status of the Star Rail have returned to normal. Pom Pom will dispatch the Express shortly, and we'll be leaving Yurillo 6. Please be seated and say your goodbyes to this planet. Xian... What? Oh no, not child. Oh. Can 
Ching. Yes, General. Watch this person carefully. Do you remember me? I remember. Of five people, three must pay a price. You are not one of them, Jing Yuan. <laughs> of five people, three must pay a price. You are one of them. <laughs> Hold on. I I'll... I'll be there soon. What did I tell you? He's definitely sleeping in. We trailblazers can go days without sleep. But when we do hit the hay, we have to make up for it. Anyway, no point wasting our time in the corridor. The conductor wants us to attend a warp navigation meeting. Same old location, apparently. And we can't be late. Let's head over. Oh, by the way, you drew the short straw. It's your turn to wash the coffee cups this week. Okay, this game's kind of a vibe. Stop. Okay, but this part's a vibe. I hope it just remains the three of us for a while. I actually love these three. Visitor verification. What? Bye. Morning. You're very punctual. Ah, uh, no need to worry. Dun Hung's rarely late. I'm sure he must have a good reason. Dun Hung's situation is special. We hope to protect him to the best of our ability. The trailblazing of Urelo 6 is drawn to a close, and the Astral Express must depart for the next planet. Not telling yet. We'll make an official announcement in the meeting, but I'm keeping you in suspense for now. The meeting will start soon. What do you want? Hey! Thanks for the invite. I'm so excited! This view isn't something you see every day. So, you guys travel across the galaxy and journey through space like this every day? Oh, that's so cool. No wonder everyone on the Express is so knowledgeable. Huh? <laughs> Not like you to be modest. I've yet to experience it myself. But no one in their right mind would turn down a chance to journey through space. Oh my god, do you join my team? Boarding the Express is just one small step. I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to travel the depths of the universe. After all, I did promise Branya and Nat that I'd continue to protect the underworld and help rebuild Bellobok. Still, I bet there's still a chance for kids like Hook and Clara, right? Who knows? Maybe they'll be able to represent Bellobok as it returns to the arms of the universe. Passengers, the warp navigation meeting has officially begun. This voice? Firstly, Pom Pom wants to congratulate you, the Nameless, for successfully resolving the problems at this stop. The Express is now able to continue along the Star Rail. The three of us actually pulled it off, huh? It's time for your conductor, <clears throat> that's me, to reveal the name of our next stop. Long time no see, Astral Express crew. It's Kafka. I came at a good time. You're all here. Every single one. No need for the mysterious introduction, Stellaron Hunter. <laughs> Himiko, correct? Apologies for interrupting your little get-together, but I'm sure once you've heard my request, you'll forgive me. I'd like you to make a destination alteration. I've seen your face before, Stellaron Hunter. Even if it was only on a corporation wanted poster, they were offering quite the bounty. Dead or alive. Do you know the figure? 
Doesn't concern me. Then again, a corporation bounty is a compliment, not an insult, don't you think? The higher the figure, the bigger the compliment. You wanted criminals sure know how to look on the bright side of things. I will say, Herta certainly paid you all a compliment. A maniac that claims he can see destiny, leading a bunch of wild lunatics in pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe. And Herta doesn't give out compliments very often. In pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe, huh? Well, in that sense, you... Astral Expressors and I are cut from the same cloth. You're in the wrong place, Kafka. We're not about to accept your request, and we're not about to get into bed with a Stellaron hunter. It was Again. nice talking with you. Perhaps next time you'll be willing to pay us a visit in person, and we can continue our little discussion. Have you guys heard of the Law Foo? The Sienjo Lawfu? It belongs to the Hexa fleet of the Sienjo Alliance. We've heard of it. Hmm. But what you haven't heard is that it's currently very close to you. A couple of warp jumps away, in fact. Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lawfu. An unexpected calamity. Don't you think? What exactly are you Stellaron hunters trying to do? The Sienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. It's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. My companion, Blade, has been taken away by the Cloud Knights. I want to bring him back, resolve this Stellaron crisis, and clear our names. Nothing to do with you? Yeah, right. Sounds like a weird coincidence to me. You just happened to show up after the Stellaron burst? Also, we're not your friends. Why should we care if a Stellaron hunter is innocent, hmm? No! Why are we listening to her? The Alliance is strong. Is a single Stellaron burst really too much for them to handle? We're the crew of the Astral Express, not some squad of Stellaron stealing super specialists. You could, of course, not get involved. Knowing that the Stellaron hasn't yet affected this region of space, you could make the jump and arrive at the next world. But sooner or later, the Star Rail here will be more blocked off than it was before. I can tell you what the future holds. If you don't go to the Law Fu, the Stellaron will eventually contaminate the entire ship, and over half of the inhabitants will perish. Oh, you brave and fearless trailblazers, you benevolent nameless. Can you really remain indifferent to that? This companion of yours, Blade, he perished too, right? No comment. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. <sighs> March, get done hung. No, why am I doing it? You hear that, Stell? Or Stella? My bad. doing here hmm. I gave him the lowdown hey remember what I said okay we're gonna vote against it I'm not gonna take orders from that woman <laughs> from a gay you mean Oop.
What the hell even is that back there? You okay, Don Hung? March brought you up to speed, I assume. <clears throat> I'm fine. And yes, I'm up to speed. Good. In that case, with regard to the matter at hand, let's vote to decide our next move. Our Stellaron hunter claims that a Stellaron burst has occurred on the Sienjo La Fu, and that we're in the vicinity. If we head for the La Fu, we may have the chance to save many innocent lives. However, it's also possible that our Stellaron hunter is lying and using us for her own ends. Neither Welt nor I believe that she's telling us the truth. But we can't just ignore the intel she's given us. So, we're about to hold a democratic vote on whether to set a course for the Sien Zhou. All those in favor, hold out your hand. All those against, keep your arms by your side. Three, two, one. Three against two. Well, it looks like the Astral Express crew has a majority vote to head for the Sien Zhou. Marge? <sighs> I calmed down and thought about it a bit. If it turns out that woman isn't lying, then a lot of innocent people are gonna get hurt. Now's the time for thinking about other people. <laughs> All right, all right. I think we're all used to March's modus operandi by now. So, Don Hung, you want to stay here? Yes. I'm staying this time. In that case... Welt, ready for a trailblazing expedition? I know you've been itching to get out there for a while now. But make sure you take good care of the two of them. <laughs> Don't worry. Destination Sienjo, here we come! The train is about to make the jump. Five, oh, look at his little gas four, sit there. Three, two, one. Whoa! So that's a Sienjo ship? It looks even bigger than your Relo Six. For the Xianzhou, these ships are their planets. Terrestrial environments are cradles that allow civilizations to survive and then develop. Some of those civilizations progress further, constructing spacefaring vessels, which allow them to voyage into the unknown. The Xianzhou Alliance is one such civilization. I've only glimpsed it a few times, but it's as magnificent as I remember. You okay there? What's with all the lonely, nostalgia vibes? <sighs> this is the Astral Express. I repeat, this is the Astral Express. We have arrived in Sienjo territory. Requesting landing permission from ground control. From the bridge, I mean. Welcome to Lofu Skyport. Starskip event. Please await transfer. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. Um... Now you know how I feel when you copy me. Wait, what? <sighs> Something's not right. The signal is still repeating, but no one is guiding us into dock. Maybe the Stellaron hunters were telling the truth. It seems like something really did happen to the Sienjo. A vessel arrives at a deserted spaceport. Isn't that how, like, loads of horror movies start? Let's not let our imaginations get the better of us. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. Still the automated signal? Yes, it's still on repeat. Ah, there we go. The Jade Gate now opening. On behalf of the Sienjo La Fu, welcome guests from afar. Please proceed to dock in accordance with the guidance. Huh? Is this still automated? The signal broke off. Seems that's all there is. 
We should get going. Himiko, stay vigilant back here on the Express. Relax. I've got Don Hung here with me. <laughs> yes, but I won't be putting my feet up. There's a lot to take care of here on the train. Make sure you're properly prepared before you set off. Yeah, Himiko kind of eats. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Hibako kind of eats. Yeah, th this little crew is fantastic. Before we set off, I need to clarify the aim of this journey with you. The Stellaron Hunters have given us a lot to consider and a lot to doubt. But the most important part of this expedition is... Always thinking with your stomach. What about all the scenic photo opportunities? The Stellaron hunters clearly have ulterior motives. However, knowing what they're all about, and given the focus of Kafka's words, I have She's no Vi? doubt okay. that the Sienjo is dealing with a Stellaron. The Alliance and the Express haven't had any previous dealings, so our arrival might not receive the warmest welcome. But as trailblazers, we're not in this for fame or gain. We just need to do everything in our power to assist the Sienjo and eliminate the source of disaster. Always keep that in mind. And don't forget the way of the trailblaze. Explore, understand, establish, and connect. Yeah! Let's go. Do I get a free well? Oh, uh, look. It's just containers as far as the eye can see. <laughs> this area isn't for receiving guests. It's for unloading cargo. Who decided to send us this way? Such a huge port and not a soul in sight. It gives me the creeps. <sighs> oh, stop talking. If there is someone here, they're in my bad books already. Mr. Yang, what should we do? We should start with the person. I'll play up with you. I promise. I promise. I promise. If it turns out they're not friendly, then at least they've already made things easier for us. If it turns out they were just doing their job, then we can ask them what happened here. Are you forgetting we've got Mr. Yang with us? Oh, right. You haven't seen what he can do yet. Let's move. Keep your wits about you. Amidst the Mara struck. Okay, let me check this. How do I unlock, uh... How do I unlock, uh... No. What is it that I need? How do I get this? Hi, crew. Yeah, but how do I get this? Material exchange. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Hmm. I already leveled them up, right? Yeah, I leveled them up already. Hmm. And what do you need? What is this? Wait, what's the stack in the shadow? What the hell is that? Oh, okay, I know what you mean. Mr. Yang, someone's hurt. No, my problem. Okay, maybe it is. Up, up ahead. You're hurt, son. Uh, try not to talk. March, use your six-phased ice to stop the bleeding. Go easy. We don't want to add frostbite to his list of complaints. I'm on it. This area saw fierce fighting only recently. Let's keep searching. There might be other survivors. A little something for everyone. Wait, 
Wait, that was a chaz. Oops. Uh, there are wounded everywhere. The silver lining is that, based on what we can see, no civilians were caught up in the battle. I'm guessing the Sienjo must have evacuated the port immediately, leaving the soldiers to deal with the crisis. But as for these uh, corroded monsters... Chest? Oh, oops. <laughs> Cheese! aren't what reality that? but if you have enough of them cheese come a little closer what the fuck is it taking pictures right i came up with my uh, i'm uh, you're just in time we haven't taken our selfie today where the fuck oh here it is my turn what's wrong afraid of what i might do man Treasure opening. Oh, shiny. Ooh, Not that sparkly. one. Wanna go take some pictures? Huh, crush now or crush later? Damn. Juice. First meeting. Sudden share knowledge. Have no map. I get really bored when no one's talking to me. When we're on the express, Himeko and Mr. Yang are pretty busy. But Don Hung's usually free. He doesn't like chatting, though. It's fine. Please just do it. What the fuck is that? You can do idols doing the camera? Oh hell yeah, I didn't know that. Zero points. May you find peace and song. Miss Tingyun, fall back! Is she's here? What the fuck? Giving yourself a compliment. A test. 
Tonight, souls shall embrace tonight. The stars echo because of me. Rise up into my world. Renew your definition. What I might do. And here my declaration. No more time. Okay, anyway, what? SAS Pakippi. Knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. <laughs> Thank you in the back. <laughs> Answer me. Okay, this is annoying. Tingyun, the Mara struck have been repelled, but, but there could be other dangers nearby. The situation is serious. Allow us to escort you back to the Skyfaring Commission immediately. Calm down, I heard you. It'd be rude of me to depart without thanking our benefactors. Why does she sound familiar? Is that who I think it is? My name is Tingyun. I'm the Amicassador for the Lawfu Skyfaring Commission Merchant Guild. May I venture to know the illustrious names of my heroes? Illustrious names? Uh, sure. I'm March 7th. This is Mr. Yang. Oh, Mr. Welt Yang. And this is... I see. Well, thank you for coming to our aid. Although, there is one thing I don't understand. Starskiff Haven is under lockdown. Since none of you are Sienjo residents, may I ask how you came to be here? If you can't offer an explanation, I'm afraid these Cloud Knights will have to escort you out. Uh, we called Andrew, for shut transfer up. and got no response, but then someone opened the Jade Gate for us. When we arrived, there was no one to be found, so we started to make our own way through. How can that be? My ship was the last one into port before the Jade Gate was shut. The Skyfaring Commission has already locked down Starskiff Haven entirely. We're telling the truth. You could verify it yourself by checking the access history of the Jade Gate. We, we found a strange ourselves when the gate opened, but no one came to greet us. Hmm. You're with the Astral Express. You've heard of us? Indeed I have. Oh, you've arrived at a bad time. The Sienjo has suffered an incident. Whether you're here for leisure, treatment, or trade, I'm afraid you won't be able to go through with it. For your safety, you should hurry to Central Starskiff Haven and take refuge. I'll take you to Madame Yukong of the Skyfaring Commission and let her decide how to proceed. We caught wind of the incident you mentioned. That's why we're here, Miss Tingyun. To help the Sienjo seal the Stellaron. <laughs> your actions have already revealed your kind hearts to me. Uh, sadly, I can't make you any promises. You're outsiders, and only Madame Yukong has the authority to consider your offer. Well, don't worry. Madame Yukong is kind-hearted, too. Come on now. I'll lead the way. Those monsters back there. They were no monsters. Oh, those were not. Why have we stopped? Don't worry, miss. I have a favor to a favor. Count me out. What if we do it wrong and you get your cloud cronies to throw us in jail? I shouldn't have doubted you. Please. The soldiers stationed here must have moved these in. 
I'd like to see us try. <laughs> They're extremely heavy. Not that I'm doubting your skill. If I'm not mistaken, the containers in the trove of verdure can be moved around. You've already put on... Oh! Uh, she sure knows. We just need to pass... You know, you sound sweet enough, but you were talking about getting us escorted away by your cloud knights. If it weren't for Mr. Yang... You misunderstand. Resonate all together. A test. Zero points. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that's kind of how I'm feeling. Oh my god, is this whole place win? Is that the whole thing here? Oh boy. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. It's the Inazuma of the game. Great. Watch this awesome move. You can't run. It's paced like Inazuma. Okay, cool. <laughs> Cheese. It's not as gaggy as in Azuma. So what you're saying is this is the worst part of the game. You mentioned the Stellaron. You work for the Skyfaring Commission, so I assume you're aware of its destructive power. Yes, I am. As an Amicassador, I've been to many planets and seen my fair share of Stellaron. What the hell is this? Artifacts? Ocean. Bye. Visiting it. Oh, yay, cool. Robin's the stupidest fucking character in this game. She has to be. Like, she she literally has to be like one of the stupidest characters in this fucking game. What? There's just no way. There's just there's just no way. There's just no way this move is real. Where's it at? There's just, there is just no fucking way this is a real move. This is so stupid. It's so dumb. Anyway, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll see how this region goes. I mean, like, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just vibing. Wait, is that fucking Chiyu? Holy shit. Oh. Oh my god, it is. I think this place is a bit better than Inazuma, personally, but I also have Star Rail bias and absolutely despise Inazuma. <laughs> I mean, we'll see what's going on. 
I already like the environment a lot here. It gives me a lot of, you know, this kind of makes me look, think of, it makes me think of Big Hero 6. Can you see it? If you were explaining this game to somebody who's never played it, what would you say? Um, a bunch of anime alien, uh, uh, space, Star Trek, Star Rail, Star Trek, anime, Star Trek, anime, Star Trek, uh, anime, Star Trek. Turn-based anime Star Trek video game. Gay people in space. Okay. Probably, yeah. With with Robin. <laughs> For some reason. What's the difference? Leave it to me. Ever since, okay, wait, no. What what's the difference between a songstress and a singer? Because if there's a songstress, there's a songster, right? No. Oh, uh, okay. Where's the bark? She said, "Oh." Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh. I hear some disharmony. Singer is gender, neut uh, gender neutral. Okay, cool. Harmony and unison. Answer me. Zero points. <laughs> Oh my god, that is so stupid. Why do you get energy from everyone else moving? She's so stupid. Who cares how high her energy needs are? She gets energy for free. What? And that's without the light con Oh, she's just broken. I just I really cannot believe this character. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Finally. Look how many tail hairs I lost on the way. Oh, my beautiful tail. He had a difficult start, but things got easier. Look, that's the barge I was talking about. Her and Ruin May, Ruan May, compete for best support. What about Ting Yun? Is she like third? Maybe a song she just creates. Wait, sings and creates songs, not just sings them? Okay, that makes sense, yeah. Uh uh, uh. Just sit back and relax. All Amicassiters know their way around the stars. Composes, okay, I see. Oh, I was perfectly calm until she volunteered to help. Please take your seats, everyone. We'll be off right away. Wait, did I just get? Did I just get? No. Okay. I wanted to get to to, uh, to the next part of this quest, but. What kind of shitty? Okay. <laughs> that looks like a paper airplane. What were we doing with that? What? Bro, where are the people? On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, allow me to welcome you to Starskiff Haven. On the Sienjo Lafu, anything relating to aviation, navigation, and trade falls within the scope of the Skyfaring Commission, which is one of the six commissions of the Lafu. As the biggest port on the ship, Starskiff Haven is governed by the Skyfaring Commission, too. You definitely sound like a, a 
Uh, what was it again? Oh, Pammy Cassiter. By which I mean, nice speech. That's too kind of you. My job involves ferrying business delegates to and from Starskiff Haven, so I do this kind of introduction all the time. That's your job? Anyway, we're safe now. Normally, I'd be a good host and take you around, but these are difficult times. Let's head to the Palace of Astrum first and report your arrival what? to Madame Yukon. She works for the fucking commission. What? I thought she was a dancer. Oh my god. What? I thought she just... I What? I thought she was a dancer. I, well, her fucking burst. Her, her ultimate. I... I <laughs> Oh, she just fights with fans. Oh, okay. I don't know why I thought she was a dancer. Okay, cool. Palace of Astrum? Never mind. Oops. Right there. The tallest building in the city. It's also the headquarters of the Skyfaring Commission. Let's hurry. We haven't got much time. You're right. You're right. I can't wait till I get to wherever Robin's from. And she's a fucking military general. Who sings on the side. <laughs> I don't mean to rush you, but if Madame Yukong holds me accountable for not getting you over soon enough, I wouldn't want to be around for the consequences. Sounds scary. I thought you said she was kind-hearted. We need to make a few preparations before paying a visit to any of the six commissions. Rest assured, Miss Tingyun, we won't go anywhere. If you can inform Madame Yukong of our arrival first, we'll meet you at the palace entrance later. Uh oh. Very well. <laughs> Little Miss Fox moves at quite the pace. I can't keep up with her. <sighs> I've spent too long on the bench. Let's catch our breath for a while, huh? We can expect a packed schedule ahead. Not so fast. I need to give you two a heads up first. Our meeting with Madame Yukon won't be without risk. We need to be prepared and take it seriously. She is a top Sienjo leader. Oh, Mr. Yang, do you think this could be Bellabog all over again? No, the Sienjo Alliance is better than that. But Madame Yukong will definitely have a string of difficult questions for us. Why did we choose to come to the Sienjo now? How did we know that the incident is related to Estelaron? Who leaked their information to us? Careless answers mean distrust and potential hostility, which would make things much harder for us. Ah, oh, crud. One of us is going to blurt something out, or get something wrong, I just know it. What if she thinks we're with the Stellaron Hunters? Never mind the Alliance. Even I don't trust them. Mm, he's right. If we're too scripted, it'll sound like we're hiding something. Don't worry, we'll find a way through. Let me do the talking. New message. Well, she said, hurry the fuck up. Uh, uh, what? I'd like to ask you something. Angry profile pic. What is it? This may be disrespectful, but I'm curious. The people are asking. Oh my god. Immortality. Okay. Wait, was that it? Did I get did I get rewards for that? I said I was gonna stop the next time I got rewards. 
<sighs> How much? much I mean, we'll see what happens. Where the fuck do I go then? Can you tell me how to build Robin? Put a bunch of attack into her. Make sure she has at least 120 speed. And, I don't know, make sure she has energy regeneration on her... I don't know, body piece. Is there any difference between this game and Genshin other than setting? Uh, the combat is different. Like, the core gameplay is very different. The progression is slightly different. But other than that, a lot of things are fairly similar. You spend a lot of time listening to unskippable cutscenes. You do the combat. You use resin to build characters over and over and over again. You barely get any fucking stellar jades. <sighs> Just kind of the same thing. Except different setting. And it looks better. It has better quality of life. Is it more important that you see a good show or hear a live singing at a concert? Um, I don't think I'm ever going to hear good singing at a live concert comparatively to a singer being in a studio, if I'm being completely honest with you. I haven't been to too many concerts, like, but in the concerts that I've been to, it's really nice to have the experience with the crowd and see the people there do their craft, but it's absolutely not the best experience, I think, at least if I want to appreciate the music, which is really why I'm there, right? Uh, or, you know, why I, I love them in the first place. So, I guess for me, it's a good show. Do you know? Do you prefer this game or Genshin? Oh, I Genshin, 100%. But that's because I really am not, I'm, I'm new to this game and I don't know a lot about it yet. Maybe I'll uh, eventually like it just as much. But yeah, I'm kind of in the Genshin camp right now. I'm just, I'm playing this because I want to have more uh, uh, things available to me that I can farm. So I'm trying to hurry up. Can I go now, please? Oh, you're here already. Sorry to keep you waiting. Madame Yukong is expecting you. Right? Is that what it is? Robin wants a bunch of at least 120 speed, energy regeneration, and an attack. That's it, right? Are you not coming? I've brought the Madame Helmmaster up to speed. It's over to you now. 4K? Oh. Yes, madam. Report the losses to General Jing Yuan and find someone from the Divination Commission. I can't just stand there watching while we deal with this mess. Greetings, guests from the Astral Express. Ting Yun has informed me of the purpose of your visit. Receiving guests isn't normally one of my responsibilities, but since you know about the Stellaron and have stated that you want to help the La Fu, I thought I should at least meet you in person and politely decline your proposal. Oh. The Sienjo Alliance knows what a Stellaron is, and is more than capable of handling it ourselves. We have been around for over 8,000 years, and weathered countless dangers and crises. While the situation is serious, we have more than enough resources to spare. Outsider help is not needed on this occasion. You are guests from afar. There is no reason for this matter to concern you. Am I making myself clear? From what we've gathered, the influence of the Stellaron can still be contained. If we can locate it in time and contain it, it's possible that we can restore any space and any individuals affected by the corrosion. We have experience in preventing Stellaron disasters, and we've only come here to lend you that experience. Only? I've said this and I'll say it again. This is an internal affair of the Sienjo Alliance, and there is no need for the Astral Express to get involved. I decided to arrange a meeting with you as a gesture of respect, but my decision is final. Uh, but... Never mind, Mr. Yang. If the Sienjo Alliance say they can handle it, then we're wasting our breath. Let's go. I'm afraid that's impossible. Huh? And what's that supposed to mean? It's only been a few days since the presence of a Stellaron was detected on the Law Fu. Starskiff Haven has been under full lockdown, 
No one has been permitted to leave. How did you come to know of the incident? And what led you to conclude that it was linked to a Stellaron? I acquired the access history of Starskiff Haven. Not long ago, someone hacked into the system and opened the Jade Gate, before guiding you, the Astral Express, into our territory. The hacker was skillful and even taunted us with her seal. Her name is Silverwolf, a member of the Stellaron Hunters. What say you in your defense? You are forbidden from leaving the Skyfaring Commission until the aforementioned questions have been investigated. Don't be too harsh, Yukon. If this gets out, the whole galaxy will think the Alliance has forgotten how to treat our guests. General Jingyuan. It's very unlikely that the Express has joined forces with the Stellaron Hunters. They are mortal enemies, after all. Apologies for interrupting your meeting. My name is Jing Yuan. I'm the general of the Cloud Knights here on the Law Fu. General, this is an internal affair for the Law Fu. I fully agree with you, Helm Master Yu Kong. This is indeed an internal affair. I am sorry, guests of the Astral Express. It is true that there is a Stellaron on the Law Fu, but I'm afraid I cannot accept your kind offer to help resolve the issue. This is a Xian Zhou matter, and it is our responsibility to handle it. Of course. It would be inappropriate of me to let you return without something to show for it. While I cannot accept your help with regard to the Stellaron, I do have a favor to ask. Please, after you. Ah, <sighs> the Astral Express. I must confess that the train's reputation precedes it, such that it is often close to my thoughts. Hello, can you say... How delightful to come face to face with its passengers. Wait, what is this? Is this some sort of invocation? What's this supposed to be? Uh... Pa... Ooh, how do I say it? Hold on, I want to pronounce it correctly. Pelmeni. Uh... Pelmeni Top? Okay. It's an honor to meet you, General. Uh, may I ask what the favor you spoke of is? Ah, uh, a matter that requires capable people such as yourselves. We captured a member of the Stellaron Hunters a few days ago, who goes by the name of Blade. During our investigation, the Divination Commission, the department in charge of intelligence processing, intercepted a transmission sent out by his accomplice. Kafka, who has managed to hide aboard the ship. As for where that transmission was destined... Oh, you're welcome. I have some knowledge of your relationship with the Stellaron Hunters. The Divination Commission is convinced that you made an alliance with them. <laughs> I say that's impossible. The crew of the Astral Express are honorable people whose valiant deeds are lauded across the universe. There must have been a misunderstanding. As such, I came to the conclusion that the communication must have been an attempt by the Stellaron Hunters to sow dissent between us. We can handle the Stellaron, but it will take time and will require the bulk of the Cloud Knights on the ship. It is this Kafka that concerns me. The longer she stays on the ship, the bigger the threat she will pose. Since the Stellaron Hunters lured you to our ship, we shall move with the current. You are hereby authorized to do as you deem fit on the Lofu, with the goal of bringing Kafka out of the shadows and under our control. Doing so would clear the misunderstanding between us, reveal the true intentions of the Stellaron Hunters, and help us understand their connection to the Stellaron Burst. What say you, my astral guest? Hmm. What do you think? Might as well. <laughs> of course you do. You can be strangers and simply walk away. 
But I feel you wish to help the Xianzhou. The Lofu never fails to reward that which is given. Okay. Wonderful. It's a deal, then. I shall notify Yu Kong that all intel is to be shared with you, and that our best personnel are to aid you in your search. If there is anything the Skyfaring Commission or the Cloud Knights can do for you during your stay, don't hesitate to make it known. Alright. Did I get something there? Any rewards? I think we only scratched the surface of this General Jing Yuan. Theoretically, yes. But something feels off. Uh, that's it. Um, since the Cloud Knights have already captured a Stellaron Hunter, why not use him to get to Kafka? Huh? Why rely on us? The Sienjo is reluctant to involve outsiders in the Stellaron disaster, so why is it so keen on letting us capture a Stellaron Hunter? Yes. The only sensible conclusion I can draw is that Blade had already escaped when Jing Yuan spoke to us provided they even captured him in the first place. Therefore, given our connection to Kafka, we represent the only way of luring the Stellaron hunters in. That's why he asked for our help. He didn't want to let anyone else find out that Blade had already escaped. Now that we've figured that out, perhaps we can get closer to the core of what's happening here. All right. Oh, sorry, y'all. Y'all like singing? <laughs> Master Diviner, you heard our discussion. What do you make of it? What do I make of it? The way Fu of Xuan. Apparent, but the heart of She's Fu gorgeous. Is often what? Are you asking me to divine their true intentions? That won't be necessary. The crew has nothing to do with the incident. Of that, I am almost certain. Wasn't that my idea, General? Indeed. Your counsel has always been a great help to me. You may use your discretion on the matters ahead of us. <laughs> Why don't you retire early and I use my discretion full time? <laughs> it is still too soon, unfortunately. If something goes wrong, you'll need a general to take the blame. How could I simply walk away and put you at such risk? If you'd brought me that blade earlier, none of this would have been necessary. Wait, what are you up to exactly? <gasps> Xing Yuan, did you let him escape on purpose? She has Dia's kit and he can actually use it. She transfers ally damage to herself and then heals herself. So is she an abundance character or, or what? Me? <laughs> I had no idea he might escape. Preservation. Like you, my I see. gaze never travels beyond the horizon. I take full responsibility. The Cloud Knights failed in their duty. I can understand. There's a lot to take care of on the Sinjo. You are bound to miss something. Thank goodness I'm here. On that note, Perhaps it's about time you finally nominate me as your successor when the Six Charioteers next convene. Okay, so who's better? Uh, Adventurine or Fushuan? Bust! Yes, yes, yes. I have to go now. I'll leave this in your overwhelmingly capable hands. Two queens can coexist? Why can't you have Adventurine and her, actually? You know what? <laughs> Bust! <sighs> <laughs> there are three things in the world that I can't seem to rid myself of. The troubles of the Sienjo, the papers on my desk, and the weeds in my garden. Both S tier? General, oh my goodness. Diviner Fu wants the general's position for herself. Everyone knows that. She is very capable. Okay, now why the hell is what's his name is from? By a quick Full Metal Alchemist here. I'll retire when she's achieved a better balance this stellaron thing is easy blade escaped now we gotta go get him 
Just say the word, and I'll solve this in a flash. I can understand your impatience. And I know you want to prove yourself. Now is not the time. If you truly wish to become sword champion, <laughs> you shouldn't be running around brandishing your sword at people. You think I'd lose to Blade? I'm saying you need to have patience, Yang Ching. Governing Xianzhou is different from a sword fight. The only way to build momentum is to work slowly. Besides, we still don't know who's really moving the chess pieces. There is something we must take care of before making our next move. As long as it remains unresolved, we're at a stalemate. That something Aww. is the Stellaron. Bust. <laughs> Bust. <laughs> Bust. Bust. <laughs> How did it manage to bypass the Bust. Skyfaring Commission's <laughs> inspections and the Divination Commission's <laughs> predictions? <laughs> I say we bring those two Stellaron hunters before Diviner Fu. She'll get an answer. Yang Kang is Aurelia. I've asked our friends for the Express to take like, care of the boys. Worry not, you'll have your moment when the current stalemate is broken. You are my most trusted aid. Yan Cheng. Some things that I would only assign to you. Speaking of which, Yang Ching. <sighs> that boy. Where's she at? I suppose it is my fault. <laughs> I should have given him an opportunity already. A sharp sword can't stay sheathed forever. Oh, he uses multiple swords. Oh, okay. My fear is that this might prove too big a setback. Oh no, am I gonna stream for 11 hours again? No, I didn't know. I, uh, <laughs> I just miss streaming so much. Oh, I hope we're doing it again. <sighs> okay, can I get some fucking points now, please? Can I please? Good morning. You don't have college, right? No, I don't, but I do have to do a bunch of courses within the next four days and then I start classes, classes on, uh, I think the day Clarine comes out. Great. Well, one class at least. Now, can I please get some rewards? Please. I'll stream when I wake up tomorrow. Do it again. Well. Oh my god, now everyone's waking up. Just stop! Go eat breakfast! Go get some eggs! Have you brushed your teeth? Have you gotten some coffee? Have you have you have you have you started your eggs? Have you let the dog out to pee? Right? Huh? Have you washed your face? Where's where's the sunscreen? Where's the vitamin C serum? I don't see it. No no vitamin C serum, no retinoids, no CeraVe facial cleanser, okay? No toothpaste, no coffee, no orange juice, no no breakfast, no dog, nothing. No did you make your bed? I think you should be doing other things than than than, than watching Twitch streams. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> My skincare is just water. See, and that's why your beard is is lacking. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. You uh, Seems like we were destined to be in each other's company. Girl, I don't remember the that either. <laughs> mission has reserved rooms for you at the Petrichor Inn. When you finish your business here, how about some tea together? Right, the morning news. Right, 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 right. Not at all. Though I'd appreciate it if you mentioned to Madame Yukong that you got a warm reception from me when you next see her. <sighs> Better to be busy than idle, I suppose. Okay, now can I get my rewards? I'm never gonna get any primo gems. Okay, girl, just kidding. Well, here we are. I feel sleepy already. Yeah, me too. Hey, that's not fair. My eyes are peeled this time. I'll make a run for it the second things go wrong. 
Uh, jokes aside, did you see Madame Yukong frown at us? I thought her guards were about to jump out of nowhere and throw us in jail. Oh, I'd rather deal with monsters than these big shots. Uh, I mean, not that Madame Yukong doesn't have her merits. <laughs> Don't worry, my lips are sealed. But as her subordinate, I have to say that it's Madame Yukong's duty to keep her guard up. The Law Fu is facing a crisis, and as head of the Sky Faring Commission, she is responsible for the security of the Sienjo's customs and borders. At least she has the government job, Marge. You better not fucking. Okay, what we're not gonna do. Private. What we're not gonna do is try to clock Marge, okay? <laughs> okay, she's the best character in, in both games. Many years ago, Madame Yukong was an ace pilot in the cloud. She was a work hard, play harder type, known for Wait, her actually, hot temper and incredible skill. Wait, let me see if I can find something. Uh, if I look here, let me see. Bust. Sorry. Um. March. Please tell me somebody has it. Wait, I think I do. I think somebody has it. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay, I found it. Cheese. Eventually, she became the head of the entire commission, which required her to learn patience and adopt a meticulous approach to her work. In any case, Madame Yukong instructed me to reserve the best rooms at the inn and have all your expenses covered. She wants to extend the full courtesy of the Xianzhou so that all of you enjoy your stay to the fullest. She specifically mentioned that if you wish to buy anything at the inn, be it food or otherwise, just let the innkeeper know. The commission will cover the cost. Why don't you go back yourself? <clears throat> Seeing as our hosts are so thoughtful, I guess we should help ourselves. Right, Mr. Yang? We should focus on our objective first. Seeing as Helmmaster Yukong was extremely reluctant to get us involved, am I right to speculate that the Skyfaring Commission has some leads on the whereabouts of Kafka? Exactly right. The suspect is extremely cunning. She encrypted her transmission Actually, and wait. timed her Actually, wait. All right, wait. I'm going to remove that one. We couldn't pinpoint her exact location. But as cunning as she is, the Divination Commission has managed to find something. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. Precisely. That's the sound of a device. Uh, which means what exactly? This is a starship. There are all kinds of devices making weird noises. Miss March, to the untrained ear, these noises may sound the same, but for the craftsmen of the Artisanship Commission, every machine has a different pitch and melody. The General sent for craftsmen, and they concluded that the sound came from the shipyard facilities in Stargazer Navalia. Now, get some rest and prepare yourselves for the operation ahead. I look forward to seeing you in action. Now, can I get some jades? Let's take advantage of the rest. 
It won't be easy to track down Kafka the Stellaron Hunter. Oh, let's let the Express know how we're doing. More importantly, let's see how Don Hung's doing. <laughs> Ask him what he's up to. Then tell him we're having loads of fun. Hello. You've been standing here for half an hour. It's rare to see you like this. Are you worried about those two? Welt is with them. They should be fine. <sighs> Himiko. Did you keep a copy of the Stellaron Hunter's transmission? Can I have a look? Sure. Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lafu. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? <sighs> what exactly are you Stellaron Hunters trying to do? The CNJO Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. <sighs> it's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. Stop! Do you know him? The Sienjo is in danger. This man, he... <laughs> if he's on the ship, then Welt, March, and him. Everyone is in grave danger. But... Is he... connected to that past you want to escape? I... I can't leave them down there. It's just... I'm afraid my burden has finally caught up with me. And that everyone is about to be drawn in. Is there anyone who doesn't carry around a... past burden? She may not remember it, but... Even a girl as carefree as March has hers. We tread on a path that is hidden from us. The things we see and the trails we blaze all become our baggage. They weigh us down, but they also give us strength to continue the journey. Try not to dwell on it, Don Hung. The Express spends seven standard days at each stop. Its passengers are allowed to do as they deem fit during that time. Pom Pom and I are more than capable of looking after the Express. If there's something you've got to do, do it now. Better than regretting it further down the line. Oh, it's serious. And you'll come back and travel with us once this is all over, right? Now, why the fuck am I low tier? Oh, thanks for the follow, though. You're so sweet. His first grinder hookup? Can't send the message out. The network is down. But some functions still work? Yeah. Don't you play Wii Fit? Virtually nothing has changed since I left. Apart from darkness, this place is all that I remember of the lawful. Hi, Robert. Wait. Wait. Stay where you are. I can handle this. Uh oh. Emergencies should be dealt with by professionals. Who is this? Oh boy. Oh, I actually have this character, I think. Take this. Surprise, Phoenix. 
No, I don't. Actually. You two risking your lives for me. Could I really stay where I am? Who's this guy Move supposed careful. to be? Wanna see what I can do? <laughs> Immortality means forever. You <laughs> the dead return! Oh my. That's cool. Indeed. Okay. Are you two okay? He's a squishy Good. healer because he I'm can't. Wait, what? An oh, attack scaling healer? Oh no! Why? Why would a healer want to be an attack scaler? In a game like this one. Oh no. <laughs> I did tell you to let me handle it. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. What if I accidentally hit you? Forgive me, miss, but you were too busy being hit yourself. It's a good thing I joined the fray. I can't advertise, right? Nope. <laughs> I was protecting you more like. It's a Cloud Knight's job to protect others. And this area is under martial law. I'm escorting all civilians to safety. Follow me. That was some impressive Cloud Knight spearmanship. Which unit are you from? Huh. Okay. You're a civilian then. Come with me. Is your MOC unlocked? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea what that is. I'm so sorry. I just started playing. I literally have no idea what that is. <laughs> Let me guess. Um, my, let's see. It's a space themed game. So my meteor of, meteor of, of constellations. I have no clue. Ooh. Miss Sushang, what exactly has transpired here? In all my trade visits, I've never seen Stars Give Haven in such a state. I, uh, I can't comment on that. Oh, it's the red blue thing. Oh, okay, cool. Order to rescue the civilians. Actually, I have no idea either. Anyway, you two just need to come with me. You're pretty quiet. What's your name? I've got forms to fill out. Can't put your name down as blank. My name is Don Hung. I'm a traveler. I'm on my way to meet up with my friends. I appreciate the help. But I No can do, mister. It's way too late. You won't find anyone at Star's Gift Haven. If your friends made it out, then they'll already be in the safe zone. No need to worry. You'll see them when we get there. Safe zone? What the heck happened? Aren't you going to take my name too, miss? You already said it when we were busy fighting. La... something... La Cha! Is that right? I remember it. Let's go. Stay close, you two. Cloud Knight Sushang will guarantee your safety. Oh, one more thing. I need you to 
to write your names down later? I don't know too many characters. I might make a mistake. Oh my god. Is she even from here? Okay, now do I get some rewards? Message not sent? Why not? Long range communication technology is still improving. Perhaps the presence of the Stellaron is affecting signal transmission. Doesn't seem like it. Everything else is working fine. See? In that case, it looks like someone wants to make things difficult for us. Hmm. Since Kafka's here, I wouldn't be surprised if this turns out to be that Stellaron Hunter Hacker Girl's handiwork. Oh boy, here we go. Oh uh, yes, finally rewards. Okay. All right, cool. So what needs to happen here? I got this. Okay, got some jades. I gotta do these now. I'm definitely not gonna do any relic farming. Um, this doesn't help me. I'll need this for what's her name, my healer. Uh. Get those now. What is this? What's the difference? Oh, I guess the location. Oh, these rewards change too. That's cool. Oh, neat. Okay. Um. Okay, where is she at? Uh, I think my healer needs. I think I need three of these. I think. All right, Bailey, what do you need? You need three of the, okay, cool. And then you need, you might want to do the boss mats for Robin. Oh, okay. What boss mats? Her ascension material? Oh. Okay, because what do I need here? This? No. Okay. I know, I know, I know, I know the option is definitely not to have March 7th here, but she's my favorite character, so the best I can do is this light gun right now. <sighs> I know, you're right though. Okay, bye, Lou. Yeah, I definitely should get this leveled up. Tragic. Uh, okay. So, let me go here. Okay, how many of these do I need? Wow. Uh. Oh, the bigger the risk, the better the reward. The redemption. <laughs> Judgment is here. Resonate all together. A test. Ah. You fool. <laughs> On me. Oh my god, he gets so much energy back. Holy. Watch your head.
Wait, what? Do I do it again? I need three of these, right? And is this something I can, like... Is this something that I can, like... Synthesize? Wait, can I? Ooh. Oh, for other materials. Okay, I can't grow into it. I see what's going on here. Okay. Wow. Feeling lucky. The redemption. <laughs> Judgment is here. Harmony. Why does my whole team have a shield? What did he do? He's just better March 7. Oh my god. He's just better March 7. Man. Okay, nice. I'm done with that. Uh, what's next? Um, is this level, is this light comb level up to 50? Yep. Okay. Is her light comb leveled up to 50? No. Is there anything I could do better than these shitty cogs? <laughs> oh my god, I hate this fucking... Ugh. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'll, 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 I'll level it up later. Um, and then for you... Can I argue? Yeah, sure. Just make sure you have enough room in your friends list. Because I've had like 10 people try to add me. And it just didn't work because... What? Uh, it just didn't work because they just don't have enough room in their friends list. Wow. Did you see my comment on Fushuan? I actually don't care. Sorry. Uh, about anyone else. I'm gonna be one of those accounts that I'm, I'm gonna try my best not to wish for really anyone else, except Robin. I think she's kind of like my Yulon right now, except I think I have pretty much everything else I need. Especially with Pella sitting around. I don't really think I need much of anything else, honestly. I think I can make it work. Or suffer. Or maybe I'll take it off. Oh. oh, I can't wait to eat this. Are you kidding me? Because when is she going to run? Six months from now, maybe? Save for it since I save all my Stellar Jades for six months. Is that enough? Bust. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. out my rune may sure why not uh what's the last thing i need to do um is it true that things get really 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 fucking expensive in this game can i do any of these oh wait is this an event <gasps> i can do an event oh my goodness i can do an event Yeah, okay, so I probably should be farming money, huh? As soon as I get, like, my stuff leveled up, I probably should be farming money. That seems like the logical. Yeah, that seems logical. Cheese. Oh, wait, this reset already? 
Oh, Simulated Universe is so fun, by the way. This game's awesome. Like, this this in particular is so awesome. I love it. Uh, okay. Uh, let me make sure I have everything. Uh, you're 50. The most important... Okay, I meant to show you guys this, by the way. Um, but, I mean... Uh, okay, let me show you. Cause you know what I'm doing, right? Like, you know I'm not gonna play a game like this without, like, optimizing, so... Let me see if I have your approval. Um... Let's see. Uh, infographic. Here we go. Okay, so come here. Hmm. Nerd time. Okay, so here is my hmm. investment priorities. Um, I, there's efficiency and there's MOC rush. I don't know what the fuck this is, so I'm doing an efficiency rush. So, um, from level hmm. zero to 19 and 20 to 19 i leveled up my main characters and then spent the rest of my resin on credits and exp um did the same thing here so i followed all of this i'm kind of going i'm deviating a little bit by only by not investing into like by investing to my whole team so i'm kind of fucking that up a little bit um but this is essentially what i'm following Uh, yeah, I'm gonna follow it all the way down here. So, that's what I'm gonna try to do. I don't really care to farm anything, gotta give a fuck. How weak my characters are, I don't care how mm. optimal things aren't or whatever. As long as I can do the story stuff and mm. do some events, that's literally all I care about. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I guess I'll do MOC later. Whatever that means. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> but yeah. If you need help, just ask. Yep. Uh, I probably should level up machine cogs. Is there something I can give her that's not these shitty cogs? Is there anything that is like within reason for me to be able to get that isn't this? That's good. But Pinnacani event light cone. You need the event light cone, but how do I get there? Ugh. You don't. Ugh. Okay. Do you think I could speed run the game and get there? Like, do you think I could actually speed run the game and get there? Is it possible? You have a couple of weeks. Hmm. Wait, so... So, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, what region would I have to get to in order to unlock this event? Okay, so I'd have to rush through whatever this place is and get there. And then once I get there, I should be able to play the event. I have to finish the whole story? Oh fuck. Oh man. Oh, is it long? Oh man. Okay. Well, we'll figure it out. Hi, Eternal, good to see you. All right, well, I have, I have an idea of where to go. Okay, last thing. Um, 
does this matter literally at all? I mean, it does. But does leveling these matter at all? I leveled ratio like a couple of these or whatever. But this doesn't matter, right? Like, this, this, this does not fucking matter at all. Like, don't worry about it, right? Maybe increase her attack if I really wanted to because it's really important. And I guess it is. But this just doesn't matter, right? Okay, cool. All right, that doesn't matter. Okay, cool. All right. Um. And these do matter, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's what I wanted. Um, this. No. Yeah, how do I get this? Wait, what the fuck? Oh boy. Ron May, a name that's both new and familiar. I thought member four, Poka Kakamon, had gotten rid of most of this. You're back! <laughs> of course! This is it's a special time. Madame Ron May doesn't like fanfare and probably wouldn't appreciate a crowd to welcome her, so I asked the researchers to keep things simple. I took her to see the portraits of the society members a few days ago. I wanted to have the researchers make one for her. I don't get it. I heard Miss Ron May. Of course, Miss Ron May. She just wanted somewhere on. Anyway, what more needs to be said? I'm not sure. Oh my god. Can we get some yapping, please? Some blabbering? Oh my goodness. Just telling you now, you're gonna be here for like two hours. Two hours? Even if I skip text? I'll do it myself. I'll do it as I, I'll, I'll fall asleep doing it. Okay, how's about that? Okay. I'll go see whoever this Rune May person is, and then call it a day. There's someone next to the railway platform. Actually, you know what? No, you know what I will do. She be? You know what I'll do? I'll do. You know what I'll do? You know what I'll do? You know what people like watching? People should you like watching? Ooh. Simulated universe, right? Can I do it? Oh man. Okay. Um well, preservation is probably the best one for my team. Um, but I really, really like elation or at L L a late. Yeah. Elation. Um, and then the hunts is, I mean, the hunt's cool, but it's like boring. I like preservation though. Preservation's fun. Um, why are we doing four and not three? Does it matter?
Oh, are you talking about for the stupid thingies? Oh, it's fine. It's, I don't care. I did a bunch of farming for it earlier, so I'm good. Uh, yeah, I like this one, I think. I really want to do this one. Elation or preservation? Elation? Okay, cool. Uh, it's always Curio every time. Big Lotto. 20% movement speed. Ten, let's see. Destructible object. There's a small chance that you lose everything. I like this one. It seems bad, but I actually like it. I love that shit. It's so fun. You can't run. Okay, it probably would have been better if I went preservation with that, though, but it's okay. The only thing that needs to happen is me not fucking, um, is me actually having my, uh, Bailu's burst. I'm about this close to putting Star's Echo with my Discord status. I'm this close. This close. Yeah, the crit damage. Whatever. Does anyone else love how Jafard <laughs> points at you? He goes like, that one, the gay one, that one, <laughs> the homo right there. <laughs> it cracks me up. Yeah, I love it so much. Okay, combat or occurrence? I don't like occurrence. They fucking suck. They get in my nerves. Oh. Harmony and unity. Just. <laughs> Here. You can't run. Stars echo. We need a time on point email. Aren't you the email maker? That's your job. Zero points. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. <laughs> Watch this awesome move. Please. Okay, Elation. Here we go. Alright, give me that. Uh. uh. Okay, I'll do one occurrence. Does anyone read these? Like, what? I... All characters restore HP. Okay. Attain a hump. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Thanks. When a character launches a follow attack on enemies, their action is delayed. There's a 65% chance of getting a skill point when you follow up. Uh, for each character, for each enemy hit by a character's follow up attack. Oh, that's broken. That's not good for me. So it's between one of these two. Um. Hmm. That means I really wouldn't have to worry about skill point issues anymore. Uh. Processing emote. Okay. I 
hear some disharmony. Oh shit. Could the show begin a little something for everyone? For the fear of the mediocre. Fucking god, can I get her a goddamn shield? Holy. Tonight, soul stars echo. Wait, what? When it's wait, when the bar's at one HP, you don't need to recast it? Oh shit. Wait, really? Oh, that's another turn? I thought that shit was a little bit okay, you know what? Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. I should be doing this, but It was an accident. It was an accident. I'm new. I'm new. I'm new. I'm new. It was an accident. It was an accident. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Jeez. Do they not understand how broken the cheese is? The cheese is not balanced. The cheese is the most absurd thing I've ever seen. What? It, it, like what? Oh, wait. Did I just get fucked up? Oh, hell yeah. Enhance two uh, fragments, uh, or uh, enhance two blessings. Well, don't I have like no shitty ones right now? Everything is elation right now, except, well, as long, well, I mean, even if it got this one, it'd be fine too. Uh, logical answer seems to be this one. Of course, nice. Of course, nice. Because if you think about it, it costs at least a hundred uh, fragments to. Yeah, that makes sense. It costs at least it costs at least a hundred fragments to upgrade one, and I can upgrade two for uh I can upgrade two for one eighty, and then that's a that's a steal. Especially if it ends up getting one that's like two star or higher, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's efficient. Fuck it. What are you gonna do? Kill me? Uh-oh. 
It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Let the show begin. Yeah. Harmony and unison. Uh, All right. I'm, I'm done asking questions. Around. Okay, hold on. Um, wait. Wait, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um No need to rush. Patience breeds success. What's wrong? Afraid of what I might do. At least her throat is feeling much better. Every remembrance blessing, when in shock with a killing blow, instead of becoming down, a character is immediately restored one percent of their max HP. Isn't this insane? What? 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 See, it's fine. Oh shit! For the fear of the mediocre. No, why is Astros here? Wait, what? Watch this awesome move. Try that again. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Resonate all together. Stars out. Oh, that was good AI, nice. Welcome to my Answer me. Oh wait, I have the idol in. Right. You know what's funny? <laughs> I actually can't use. Try that again. I actually can't use his A1, uh, Doctor Rachel's A1, because I don't. Ha oh, wait, I can't use his uh, E1 because I don't have his uh, Ascension passive unlocked yet. Oh God, fine, sure. The hunt. Uh, I think I think it's break. I mean, delays action. Um. No cheese for much since she's already ace it. You know what's funny about that? So that basically means that cheese did nothing. That <laughs> cheese literally did nothing. It gave me this, which is insane. It gave me this, which does what? If the target's ally HP is equal to their max HP when a victory ends. Oh. If they're full health, regenerate eight energy. Okay, that's cool. Uh, she gets nothing, and this doesn't even work. So great. He said, oh, rah, 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 rah. Harmony and unison. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Answer me. Free. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. <laughs> oh my God. Try that again. Watch this awesome move. The my plan eventually with uh with March 7th is to give her some freeze build where she runs as much like what is it? Stars 
effect hit rate or whatever as possible so that she freezes people all the fucking time. I don't know how I'm going to get to that point, but that's that's the intention. That's the build. That sounds nice, right? I mean, because stacking defense on her seems cool and would help her oh, and would help her directly with what her kit wants to do. But at the same time, occurrence or combat? Occurrence is more fun. Oh boy, here we fucking go. Enter the battle. Okay, whenever she says that, whenever she says that, Whenever she says that, I'm, I'm just thinking, like, try that shit again. <laughs> the measure of truth. <laughs> try that again, bitch. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> try that again. <laughs> One of these days when she's actually good, I can't wait. Try that again, hacker health bar. It's not going to happen. Who has the worst auto battle in the game? I'm curious. Every time the damage is like, just allies restore one to their HP. Fine, whatever, I need the achievement. Elation. Acheron and Pella. Oh, wait, really? Ew. I hear some disharmony. A little something for everyone. Freeze. Oops. I'm asking own. questions. Uh, no. Answer me. Zero points. My turn. <laughs> Here. Need a doctor? Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. That's not good. Not strife in the world. Told you I could fight. Wait, it was well done. Did it enough? Knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. Why the fuck does he keep going? What is going on? This game is so stupid. Why does he keep going? It's because of that. <laughs> this I love this mode. This is not the most fun mode in the game. Like, why is Robin going? She didn't even do anything. is feeling much better. together. Tonight, souls shall tonight. The stars echo because of me. Answer me. So fucking broken. I, I, it doesn't make any sense. Is it bad that I don't like Bailu at all? I'm sorry, I, I just don't. Test. But at least she heals. It is, it is better than Natasha, so I'm fine. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. That just, whoa! Tough luck running into me. Of what I'm <laughs> you. 
Quarter than Zaja, yes, the Underworld Doctor. The one and only. I'm asking questions. Did I fuck up? Answer me. Mediocre. Try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Zero points. Told you I could fight. Need a doctor? Thank you. My throat is feeling much. Can I please get the fuck out of here? Yes. Replace all cure. Nope. Upon entering damage. Ooh. No, that's bad. Um. What's going on? Oh. It's always this. I mean, it's not, but crit damage to 30. Fine, I'll take that. <laughs> A little something for everyone. Why'd I do that twice? Oops. Does it? I okay. I don't get annoyed by it, but other people have to hate that. If you're not gay and you have Robin, like how are you? How are you dealing with that? I don't understand. How are you dealing with her taking the music and doing this same ass lyric over and over again? I'm gay and I hate it. Well, you like Inazuma, so you don't count. But you know what I mean. Answer me. Zero points. I just do it. A test. Free. Knowledge, the measure of truth. And you like Barbara? Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So, what does that have to do with anything? Watch this awesome move. Ew, what is this? When apply freeze to an enemy, gain a shield. That's good. Uh, enemy enemies, ice damage. Enemy ice damage, enemy damage, damage equal to it. That's bad. Destruction, the hunt. For every one HP lost, character. Mark the bros, increase the hunt. Okay. There I guess. Reservation. Oh, that's actually really good. Wow. Remembrance, destruction. Frozen damage takes it. Okay. Oh, that's really good. Occurrence or combat? Let's have fun! What the hell is this? Oh fuck. Harmony and unison. Stars echo. Welcome to my test. Zero points. Answer me. Free. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Zero points. Well, that was fun. Preservation, destruction, sure.
I am so poor. Oh wait, do I, oh. Let's see, if I bought this, it would leave me at 117. Let's see. I think numerically this probably will be the smartest one. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow, this one too. Careful. This is life or death. Let the show begin. For the theater. Freeze! Threat in the raised. Oh god. What'd she say? Dangerous thought. This character's so stupid. Um. Okay, what am I doing? Waiting for my seventh leader thing. Yeah. Can I say a thing about Swalrog? What? What? What could you possibly say about him? The robot killing machine? Take it out? How about I take you to a therapist? Like, what, what are we talking about? What? Let's go together. Your answers. The test. Executing operation. Try that again. Power amplification. Try that shit again. Answer me. Free. SAS knowledge. The measure of truth. And then he's kind of he's kind of what? I think that's broken what I just did. Resonate all together. <laughs> Zero points. Purge initiated. Power amplification. Tough luck running into me. <laughs> Phew. Hmm. I want to do this now. Uh. No. Answer me. Stars echo. Welcome to my world. A test. Executing operation. Value exchange threshold. Try that again. Your answers? Answer me. Executing annihilation. You can't run! Application authorized. Gotta try hard some- Watch this awesome move! SAS knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. Fuck that bitch up. I hope for an end to strike in the world. Fuck that bitch up. I'm gonna fuck that bitch up. Oh, um, where's that? I'm gonna fuck that bitch up. Where's that? Feeling 
much better. May Song bring us victory. I'm asking questions. Souls shall embrace tonight. The stars echo because of me. She's so stupid. Like, she's so stupid. She's so stupid. I can't. It's just, it's, 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 I, it, okay. All right, that's enough. Okay, I'll stream later on today when I, when I go to sleep and I wake up. Another 12 hour stream in the books. Mwah. I'll see you later here uh, today. I stream Final Fantasy and we'll see what happens, okay? All right, love you. Bye. Wait, actually. What are the rewards? What do we get? No, I'll do some wishes. Give me a second. I won't go yet. Shut the fuck up. Don't close it out. I was just kidding. Give me a second. I need to see something. Let me get my J's first. Don't fucking go anywhere. Holy shit. Just chill out. Just chill the fuck out. Can I... Do you want to see me get a Robin? Okay, like, come on. I saved this moment just for you. Hmm. Okay, well, 